Okay, guys. Let's begin our playthrough of Endor. What a beautiful landscape, first of all. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, Enderal was a beautiful game to begin with, so um, these, these high rec uh, resolution textures that we've added in will be absolutely beautiful. Like some of these textures, some of them textures wasn't touched, but yeah. Let's just have a have a look around, see what we can pick up. You know me, I'm a I'm a scavenger. Oh, we can sleep here as well. Nothing in the barrel. No, nothing in the barrels. We can't pick up any of the food either. Interesting. What the actual hell is this? Oh lord. That is not what you want to see. That is absolutely not what you want what you want to see when you first out a game. Oh dear lord. So we've got two adults and a child. Jeesh. There's a bear over here as well. Can't crouch. God, Rob, thank you for the host. I'm just worried I'm missing something. Some nice horses. Ooh. We can harvest some mushrooms though. Well, some of them. Whoa, what the hell happened here? Read nutritionness of meat. Meat is life. Even the Ash people who were polluted in this world before us knew that. Each time they killed an enemy in battle, a battle they tore out of the liver and heart of the fallen and ate them together with their family. By doing so, just as everyone knows, the strength of the beaten army enemy is passed on. But as we are living in a time which eating fellows is nonsensically seen as barbaric, we, the friends of bloody meat, have have to settle for animal sacrifices. A lot of burnt books there. Uh. This is very dark. Look at that water though. What a beautiful game slash mod so far. That's where those bur burning uh, people were. Nutritionists of meat. There's another doll here. This is a bit creepy right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This is just a little tiny bit creepy. Whoa, what the hell are you? You look like a pheasant. You look like a pheasant. Hey, how's it going, monkey? Hope you're all doing well. Love this game, yeah. We played it on stream for a little while. Um, 
about when it first released in English. Um, but I really wanted to play modded Skyrim, but the modding on that game is taking a while. So I was like, you know what? While that's taking a while, I will install Ender Rule again and mod up Ender Rule to make it look even better. So these have got... I've modded it with a lot of 2K textures and just up, just made it a lot more beautiful as well. So, um, yeah, what's this? So I have played, I'd say about 10 hours of Ender Rule before, but I haven't played it all the way through. So we will see. Read scribbled notes. Oh, Lord. Oh, Maker. I can hear you calling. I feel your love. I know about your sacrifice. Without you, I am nothing. A twig on the currents of time. A sheep without a shepherd. Feel me from my vices and forgive me my trespasses. Forgive too my wife and child. Deliver me from my pains and bless us with your everlasting mercy. Yeah, I, I've been keeping up with the development of Enderal. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to play Forgotten Stories, but we'll, we'll see. Those 2K textures though, holy shit. Just makes the game that more, just that more bit beautiful, so. So yeah. This will be a full playthrough, we'll be playing it until we finish it, essentially. Not not all in one go. Just pointing it out there. Just pointing it out there. Alright, just exploring literally everything. What we can. Ooh, hello. Press E to talk with daddy. Oh, baby. There's chickens. Can you kill the chickens? You can't. No. Nothing. Nothing so far. Oh, that's another mod that I've added. Is uh, when you open a barrel or something, it actually animates. So that's another little tweak that I've uh, I've added. Okay, let's uh, let's talk with Daddy, I guess. Oh, hey there! I didn't see you coming. So, how did it go? Did you find it? What is this place, Daddy? Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? We're at home, silly. Where else would we be? Just mommy, sister, you, and me. Now tell me, how did it go? Did you find it? Uh, no, I, I didn't. No? Hmm, pity. Maybe you're simply looking in the wrong places. Did you ever think of that? <sighs> oh, well, who knows? Say, why don't you go inside and see if you can help Mommy with the cooking? The creator was kind to us today and sent a big, fat elk right in front of my bow. All right? Complete I have to talk with Daddy. He wants to tell me something important. Oh, yeah. Now we've got to go inside and help Mummy with the meat, I guess. See if there's anything that we can, uh, we can take. Ooh, ooh. I will take the knives. Hell, yeah. search tomatoes I will take all the tomatoes as well because why not um yeah unfortunately I didn't get the transcoding option so it's only available in 1080p today um that is nothing to do that I can do it's totally a twitch thing <laughs> I know someone who will love that sound and that is Rob Rob absolutely loves 
little girls and laughing, so... Yeah, he fucking hates it, but... I take the bucket. I'm just gonna take everything. You know why? Because why not? And Drillion Pennants, Garnets, Gold Ingot, Rubies. I will take all of them. Ooh, the art of crispy meat. Who who doesn't know that? You are looking forward to a nice crispy piece of meat after a hard day of work. But, your useless child, who you instructed to cook it gives you a charred something instead. You castrate them. Castigate them. But the problem stays the same. You are hungry. Which means that there is no other way. Doing it yourself, walk to the fireplace, cut a big bloody chunk of animal and throw it onto the kettle. And lo and behold, slowly the pleasant smell of burned life reach your nostrils. Is there anything better than that? I don't think so. That is a bit... Oh, leather strips. I will take the leather strips. I don't think we can use any of this that I'm picking up, but um, I'll pick it up regardless. Yeah, so I do apologise about the quality options. Um, nothing that I can really do. Ooh, that is savoury meat pies. Ingredients. Two pounds of minced meat, one jar of flour, a handful of bruised garlic, a handful of ground wh whisperweed, half a jar of meat broth, a pinch of sugar. Nice. That sounds interesting, to say, to say the least. Ooh, what was that? What was that? That was wine. Take the wine. Why not? I don't know why I tried to loot those. Take bloody rags and the bowl. Totally forgot what a mess I left here. But I was right, wasn't I? A real gem we've got here. Well then, let's waste no more time and get to it, shall we? But uh, what about mummy and sister? What? Now would you look at that? I totally forgot about them. They're dead, don't you remember? You murdered them back then, both of them. But hey, no use crying over spilled milk, right? At least this means there's more meat for the two of us. You still remember how to do this, right? First, off with the skin. Slice up the belly, then out with the entrails. I'll look for a nice sharp knife in the meantime, to cut off the head. I don't think either of us wants to eat that, do we? <laughs> but I didn't kill him, Daddy. It was the masked man. Oh, silly, what's this again? We both know that's a lie. You did it. I remember it all. First, you set this horrible fire to your sister's crib. She screamed and screamed, and Mommy heard it, but when she finally got there, nothing was left of her but burnt flesh. And, oh gosh, do we really need to go through this again? You know how sad it makes me when you do this. You killed them, period. No matter how often you tell me you didn't, it changes nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Now please, let's start cooking. I'm so bloody damn hungry. But I didn't kill them, Daddy. It was the masked men. Oh, by the Creator's name, why are you telling these lies? Isn't it enough that you murdered us? Do you really have to bother me over and over with your stupid, pathetic, and pointless whining? You know, sometimes I wish the Creator would have made me just a little less merciful. Just a little less pious. Because then, I would have realized that you were tainted by sin long before any of this had ever happened. And instead of raising you, 
feeding you and loving you like a father does. I would have put you in the horse trough right after you were born. Yes, I should have killed you. I should have just killed you. Just like you killed us. And now, you think you're safe because we're all under the earth, don't you? Well, listen up, my child. You are wrong. And do you know why? Because the dead don't forget. Do you hear me? The dead don't forget. Now enough of this useless chatter. I'm bloody starving. Bring me the meat, you spoiled brat. Bring it to me. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. 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 Whoa. Completed a nice day in summer. Let's begin with a question. It might sound simple to you at first, but I pray you to think about it. What distinguishes a free man from a slave? For now, however, let us start this story where another one ended three years ago. With the death of the Lightborn. For 4,000 years, they had reigned over this world. Seven arcane Something's broken. Who, through their magic, yep. had acquired eternal life. Ah, <sighs> fuck's sake. Something, I knew something had broken, but I was just like, what the hell's going on? God damn it. Yeah. Oh, you stupid fucking game. I think it's because 